Hey, what's up? Kokatan here. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on splitting HDCP. Uh, if you're like me, you actually had a lot of trouble trying to go through and figure out what devices you actually needed to buy or set up so you can split HDCP. Uh, I've been trying to split HDCP for the PlayStation Vita, for um, PS3, and for PS4 in some circumstances. Um, so this video tutorial it will show you basically what devices you need to buy, which ones you should avoid, and how your setup should be if you want to capture. Now you can capture either with um, two devices. Uh, in this video I'll be showing you the Elgato HD60, but this method also works for the original Elgato. No, not for and it also works for uh, the Blackmagic Intensity Pro, and that was my previous capture card. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here are two devices um, online if you are looking up videos on how to split HDCP. You might see this Seawell. Uh, device recommended in actually quite a few videos. Now, um, I'm just gonna just jump to the point and tell you this device did not work for me. So this is the Seawell. This is the the serial number or the product number. Um, this did not split HDCP. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like when trying to capture a device without anything. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you connect this Seawell splitter and I'm also going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when you use the View HD. So this is actually the device that did work for me. So it's the VHD 1X2 MN3 uh, 3D. So uh, this is the this is what you want, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. Now, um, I want to say it's Probably in the past, maybe uh, the Seawall device was, um, I don't know if it's HDCP compliant or if it's not HDCP compliant, but um, maybe previous versions of this device works, but um, for right now, this is the one that works. Note this serial key, and I'm going to go ahead and give you um, a peek of what my setup looks like and how these uh, fare in quality. So. Let's get to it. So before we plug up any of the splitters, I'm showing you this with the PlayStation TV. So those of you who may or may not be familiar, this is the PlayStation TV. Um, it's on, it's connected. Um, it has a single HDMI output that goes to your display, or in this case, we'll be going directly into the Elgato. And then we have the Elgato going directly into my display. Um, it's got an Ethernet power adapter, and that's pretty much it. Um, this device has HDCP uh, protection, so um, we want to strip it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when you try to capture directly from the Avocado. Then I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like with the Seawall splitter, then the View HD splitter. Hey, Coke Dan Luffy here. So uh, we're on my desktop, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up Game Capture HD. So this is our Game Capture HD, our Elgato um, capture software. I mean, you can use OBS or whatever. Um, but as you can see, there's actually a black screen. There is nothing here. There is nothing going on. We can't do anything. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and plug up the Seawell and see if we can get something different. Let's see if we can uh, perhaps get a picture. Okay, we're back and we have the Seawell connected. So to explain this really quick, HDMI out for the PlayStation TV, going into HDMI in for the Seawell. Um, and you see we have two HDMIs, or two HDMI out. So we have one of the HDMI out going into all of this way all around into the Elgato and then you know uh, HDMI out for the Elgato going to my display so let's see if we have a picture hey Kokutan here so we're back on my computer um, now like I was saying we have the seawall connected so let's go into our game capture HD um, and 
and it says one moment. It's detecting a digital signal. Um, let's go ahead and refresh it. I'll go back to my game capture. So it says no signal. Detecting signal. It says 720p 60. Um, what I was trying to show you guys here is um, sometimes it'll flash. It'll show you like a little bit of a picture, but damn it, I want to show, show the damn picture. Ah. <laughs> and that is about all you are going to see. So, um, oh, maybe, maybe we'll see something else. Ah, it flashed again. So uh, basically what happens is when I go ahead and I use the Seawell HDMI splitter, I kind of get stuck in this loop where you'll get pictured and then you don't. So I mean it drops uh, the connection. And if you notice in the corner for the Elgato Game Capture HD, uh, it says that, it's con that the content is protected by uh, HDCP. And it's trying to output at 720p. 60 frames per second so uh, yeah that's what happens so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to unplug it one last time and we're going to plug in the UHD and see what we get okay I just plugged in the UHD so uh, that's it right here the UHD um, so I mean the connections are exactly the same it has a power HDMI in and two HDMI out so it's connected exactly the same as the seawall. In fact, this is the seawall right here. Basically, it would look like that if the seawall was plugged in. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the UHD and see if we get a picture. So we're back and we have the UHD connected. And as you can see, we have a picture that is not in flux. So we can go ahead and uh, basically we can capture, we can do whatever we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and show off a few seconds of this. Um, I haven't done a lot of captures using the PlayStation TV or too many devices that are HDCP protected. But um, uh, as you can see, um, we don't have any issues using the UHD. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in the PlayStation 3 just so you guys can get an idea of what that looks like. But I, I think at this point it's uh, very clear that uh, this is the device that works and it outputs correctly. So um, what, we, what you just saw was basically it loading. So we're just updating the system. And voila, here we are. So, I don't really have too many games on here right now, but um, this is basically my PlayStation TV. So, um, let's go ahead and get the PlayStation 3 plugged in and see what it looks like, and um, I'll wrap up with some final thoughts. Okay, Kokatan back. I have my PS3 connected, so you can see it's connected, it's turned on, and it's connected exactly the same as the PlayStation TV, and we are using the View HD, or, yeah, the View HD, and we're not using this Seawall, this trash, and it's connected Elgato, and uh, we'll go ahead and check out the computer, see what the capture looks like. Hey, Kokatan Luffy, we're back. We have uh, the PlayStation 3 connected. If you see at the top, it is connecting at 1080p, 60 frames per second. And we are in our menu, our main menu. So um, it's, it's that easy. Once you have the UHD, you can pretty much do whatever it is you desire um, with, with regards to capturing capturing HDCP so um, I figure I'll in this video here uh, I hope this video was uh, informative to anyone who's trying to capture HDCP 
and um, you know like I was saying in the past that or in the earlier in the video I was having a lot of issues trying to capture uh, HDMI using my PS3 and for you that have tried to capture PS3 you know that you have to go through a ton of different devices or you have to have um, a setup with I believe it's component cables that go into your you know like DVI and all this other crazy mess just to split the signal but with the UHD, you can do it perfectly. It's easy, it's quick, and it completely splits out the HDCP, and you can go ahead and do all the capturing you want um, via Elgato, HD60, the original Elgato, Blackmagic, Intensity Pro, whatever capture card you have. Um, the UHD is something that you're gonna wanna have in your collection, as long as HDCP. Uh, exist so um, that's pretty much it um, I'm hoping you guys found this video informative I'm gonna wrap it up go get Tan Luffy out <laughs>